Hey, hi everyone. This is Bakapachu Cholikar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tool Selenium. In today's video session, we'll talk about how to download and install the software for Selenium automation testing. Agenda for the today is what are the software required for automation testing? That is a open source tool called Selenium. And how to download and install the Firebug and Firepath. And we will be discussing about how to download the Selenium jar files. At last, we are discussing about how to install and test in the framework. First, I will discuss what are the software required for the Selenium automation testing. The first one is Java should be installed. The second point is Eclipse ID should be installed. The third point is Firebug or a Firepath should be installed in your system. The fifth point is you have to download the Selenium jar files. Fifth point is TestNG framework should be installed. First, I'll show you how to download and install the Firebug and the Firepath. Navigate to the browser that is the Mozilla Firefox. Just here type in google.com firebug add-on. Just hit enter. Click on the first link. It will navigate to the add-ons link that is the firebug. Here you will be seeing one add to Firefox. Just click on add to Firefox button. It is installed. It is downloaded now. It is asking for you to install it. Here click on the install button. You will be seeing one successful message called Firebug has been installed successfully. The first thing is done. The next thing is you have to download and install the Firepath. Just here you type Firepath and you have to click on the very first link. Here you will be seeing one button called Add to Firefox. So click on that. So it is ready to install it now. Firepath will be installed after you restart Firefox. So just click on restart now. Okay, my Firefox is re restarted now. Once you install with the Firefox and the Firebug, you will get an option here called about the Firebug, that is the version. This Firebug is used to identify the elements in the web page. That is, a, that is called an inspector that is used to identify the element in the web page just i'll show you in in two seconds that's a simple that's very simple tool that helps the testers to inspect the elements in the web page can you see here i have inspected the one web element called first name firepath is the one that gives me the XPath or CSS locators for the testers. That is it for the Firebug and the Firepath. The next software you have to download is Selenium WebDriver. For that, just you have to go to the HTTP dot sorry HTTP colon to forward slash www.com W, sorry www.seleniumh2.org navigate to this link here you have got to the seleniumhq.org homepage here you have to go to the 
downloads tab under that you have to download selenium standalone server and the selenium client and web driver languages language for bindings first one you have to download this 3.01 It's asking for the saving the file just I'm um, saving under the downloads in the same way you have to download the you are writing the code for the Java so just you have to download the only Java related file just click on download button here it is asking for the file to choose just click on save button and give the file location for storing that is it for the download the selenium jar files and then those files will be got in uh, one is in zip format another is in dot jar file first you have to unzip it just open open that file and just unzip it and you will get I got it in the I got it in the my documents just I will cut it and I will paste it under the downloads so you have to copy this jar file and you have to paste it under the lib folder in the same way you have to copy this jar file outside the lib folder you have to copy it into the inside the lib folder that is it for the setting for the java downloading the java jar files the last point is how to set up environment for the writing the selenium automation script you have downloaded all the here i have in eclipse i have created one project called session 13 for that i'm adding the all the jar files which i have downloaded it just before click on I'll show you in one two minutes click on the project and go to the properties here and here you have to select to the Java build path under that you have to navigate to the libraries libraries tab under that you have to click on add external jar files so if you have all the jar files in single folder called lib fold lib folder so just select all the jar files and click on open button here and here click on ok button here itself all the jar files are added to the current project that is it for the setting the jar files and downloading the jar files and the last topic is how to install the test engine framework uh, go to the help tab under that just click on install new software here click on add button here here you need to type the name of the software that is test ng and here you, you have to enter the path for downloading the test ng files so click on ok button here it is downloading the test ng framework related files in the down you can see the status of the files which is downloading once it is downloaded it is enabled for checking checkbox to select the user once you selected the checkbox just click on next button 
once you navigate to the next screen just here is the one optional test ng m2 is integration i don't need that one just disable that test ng m m2 is integration and click on next button here once you navigate to this screen again you click on the next button and here you have to accept the agreement if it is this button is not enable just go back still you have to go back and here here you have to select all the files and again click on next button one second just go back it is so uh, that button is not not enable enabling for finishing the finishing the software installation just have a two minutes because still it is downloading few softwares just i will repeat the same process just i will wait for a few seconds still this software is installing so because of that it is not enabling the finish button just wait for a few seconds test ng is a framework that provides you with the environment where the pattern can be set for the test cases and dependency can be set for the test cases and that provides you a emailable reports for the users to the customers and this is a extension for the j unit this test ng is contains more and more annotations than the j unit framework i think it is finished with the installing the software i'll click on next button here i'll accept the agreement yeah now it is this finish button is enabled just click on that finish button just it is giving the one warning you are installing software that contains unsigned content the authenticity or the validity of this software cannot be established do you want to continue with the installation just click on okay button and it is asking for you to the restart the eclipse id just click on restart now yeah it is got restarted just click on okay button here once you install with your test ng framework just make sure how how to check the whether the test ng framework is installed or not click on the software uh, click on the project and you will be seeing one option called test ng before installation you will not be seeing this option make sure that this option is not there before installing and after installing the test ng framework this test ng option should be there uh, that is it for the installation part i think i have covered almost all the topics for the today's agenda if you have any queries please drop me an email to b a k k a p p a c at the rate gmail dot com or else you can send out an whatsapp message to eight four three one two five three zero zero seven stay tuned i'll be creating selenium automation script in the next session thanks for watching